A couple of people have expressed some confusion about how this clamp works. Um, it's really simple, uh, and it's actually the coolest part about this whole saw is uh, this clamp, you can sort of see underneath how it's put together, but it uh, aligns itself very square and true to the saw, and you can use this scale. Can not really see it? Yeah, you can use this scale, uh, and it's fairly accurate, and if it's not accurate, then it can be adjusted really easily, but hopefully that does not get smacked and moved. Um, so anyway, you set it up to the distance you want, and you simply push it down like that. This is now fully clamped. Uh, you cannot get it any tighter with just that simple pressure. So picks up like that, moves it, now it's clamped. Isn't that wonderful? Um, the the uh, inclination of, of some people to, you know, it, it feels like maybe this should be pushed down really hard so it cams, you know, a cam lock sort of thing. Um, that's not the way it works, and do not do that. Um, and the reason I say that is that <clears throat> there have been a couple of times that I've had to release it with a mallet. It's been so tight that I've had to hit it with a mallet to release it. Um, that clamping mechanism I showed you underneath will wear out and break. Uh, at that point, uh, we replace the, the rip fence. There's no way to really repair it functionally. So there you go, um, simple as that.